Hello my soccer universe. I am back in action again. I'm a little bit sad because I wanted to do this video already yesterday um, but I was not quite fit and the way it worked out it was not uh, the way to do it. So with one day delay you get my Valentine's present. <laughs> I dressed up. I don't have another Valentine's shirt. I'm not getting the Napoli one, although I'm very happy to see that Dan got his. And I have to say, Salernitana actually did a really, really nice one. So, gotta say there, I hope this doesn't catch on, <laughs> but they have been two released and both from the same region, Italy, which I find very, very interesting. But, Herwin, I know these are not hearts, but I also remember showing my wife the Napoli Valentine's shirt because if you take the kiss away, I actually think it, it, it's a nice shirt. Um, but she said, I prefer this one. And so for Valentine's, I said, okay, let's wear this for the first time. Hair and vein. I know it's not hard, but it's the closest thing we have. It's not a hair and vein shirt that I got for Valentine's. The story is actually one that I actually, on the 1st of January this year, I saw a very, very special last shirt. Um, and I even show, 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 show to, to, to my wife, uh, but you know, she kind of could convince me and you know, I already knew it that uh, it might be a little bit too much because we, I had just uh, bought the um, uh, one package for classic foot, football shirts that, you know, uh, it might be a little bit of a stretch at this moment. However, um, so I kind of decided, yeah, okay, let's. I really would love it, but you know, um, it's maybe not a clear collection focus. However, a few weeks later, I still saw it hang, 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 hanging around and um, talked to my wife and I said, you know, actually, I think we have not really talked about what we get for each other, but I think price wise and everything, this would actually be a nice Valentine's Day present, um, especially, and you know, uh, I've, I want it really because Chat Channel is always full of expenses for us um, with, you know, post Christmas, then uh, you need to take care of vacations and um, our daughter on top of that has a birthday. So I actually tried to um, negotiate with the seller if he could keep it for me and even knocked a couple of books off. Fortunately, he agreed to that and then it came and from that on my wife took over, packed it nicely, we exchanged presents um, and there you go. Let me show you the shirt that it is. I, it's already unpacked. I have it on the hanger. I will show it to you and then we'll talk why it is special. It is the 2017-18 Lusk third jersey in golden. Golden, 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 golden. I show you the back as well. It is a blank and it cost us 38 plus shipping. Um, so yeah, maybe not the best price, but given how rare and special it is, not too bad. I'll hang it back there and we'll talk about why this is special, what it means to me and a little bit more, uh, more thoughts that I had. Here you go. A golden lusk jersey. It's not a color that was used very often. I remember only in the centenary year they issued a golden shirt uh, where they had the team photo taken in. It was basically a straight reversal of the black shirt that I have. So they had instead a switch basically gold and black. But I think it was only this one that got out for um, for sale. And they played, I think, one or two games, but I'm not sure if he, I'm because I was living in, in America. So I want to have that golden shirt, but it never really uh, got out there. So um, gold is not a color that Lusk typically plays in. Um, and when I saw this jersey, it didn't make any sense because the 17-18 season is not the 110 year season. This would have been the 18-19 Season. So uh, it did not make any sense at the beginning. However, it was a shirt that at least caused a little bit of a stir. Now, come to think of it, and it got to me because at the moment there's this huge uproar around Lusk uh, wearing pink third jerseys, which are of course the uh, one of the sponsor's colors, and they're coloring everything in pink and the fan base. And I actually come coming around rightfully so is getting upset and it's not about the color pink. It is about that the sponsor dictates uh, their own color. However, do you see the Zipfer logo here? Zipfer is a local brewery 
uh, that uses golden labels. There's precedent here. <laughs> <laughs> this gold is not because we're celebrating, I think. This gold, I'm absolutely convinced, is because of the sponsor. Now, well, uh, why is this shirt so special? This is, uh, and why it also caused a little bit of stir. Not because of the color. It's caused a stir because it was only available to season ticket holders. Uh, at the time, I would not be able to get a season ticket. I'm still not sure if I will get a season ticket now for the new stadium. Uh, but you know, that might be a, that's a whole different story. But I was annoyed because I couldn't get the shirt because of all the shirts that were released. And these were the first shirts that Alaska uh, released under their own brand, Forza ASK, which you see up there. Uh, maybe I have to get the shirt quickly done. Because this is also interesting that uh, their own label is basically the old crest, just a little bit tilted, which they then moved also in the into the uh, main logo here. So uh, that was a really, really nice touch. There was a lot of goodwill uh, to get extra jerseys from the own Lusk brand and uh, the regular home and away jersey from that season, which were white with uh, black stripes and black with uh, white stripes like this. However, with yellow sleeves with this bank logo, Raiffeisen Bank, on there. Um, they were sold for a really, really reasonable price. When they were issued, they sold them for uh, 40 And then they actually, um, I, I, I think it never got more than 50 bucks to get this jersey. And you can tell because all is sublimated there. And why I like the golden jersey is because it didn't have the yellow sleeves. It actually made some sense. I think if the other jerseys, although I don't like the, let's say the race car stripes down the middle, but if the other jerseys would have had normal sleeves, probably would have, would have gotten one of, uh, if, if, if the both of these, although they also had the golden color, <laughs> which is really, really weird. So yeah, um, that's why when I saw this pop up, I thought this is a, a, a jersey I should get because it's just for the last collection. Uh, it's one that will not pop up too often and will not be that easy to get. It's in double XL. It is my size. It's also a jersey that I think was worn as far as I know only twice. Twice away to Austria Vienna. The first time they lost 2 1, but the second one is a big 3 1 win over Austria Vienna, which basically sealed the deal for Lask then. On the return to the Bundesliga, finishing fifth. And when I say return to the Bundesliga, this was uh, within uh, just five years after they got relegated to the third tier because of financial issues, uh, making it all the way back, finishing fifth and finishing in European spots. And from then on, yeah, things have been good, at least on the surface. But if you look a little bit deeper, it wouldn't be lost if there wasn't always something to talk about. So yeah, a beautiful golden last jersey as, ever, as my Valentine's present. As I said, it's the sponsor's color. And I had to chuckle when I figured that one out. I'll sure make a more dedicated video on that one. But yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, as I said, might not be the greatest of Lucas, but to me, uh, because it was only available to season ticket holders, I always want to have that one. It's only my second really pure golden jersey. The other one, of course, being the Milan Centenary golden jersey. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!